All right, guys, welcome back. So we just unlocked Extreme Prime Warden's Fanatic, who is the fourth and final variant of Fanatic. Um, where'd she go? There she is. So her ability, kill the spirit, she hits something for one damage, and then all damage she deals is redirected to that target instead of wherever it would normally go. Which can actually make it really useful, like at uh, Mitomires. So, like, if she hits... Uh, target before Maze of Mirrors comes into play, Maze of Mirrors can no longer redirect. Um, also, her, uh, her multi-target attacks like Holy Nova or Divine Sacrifice or Consecrated Ground now all focus fire. And um, her self-damaging effects such as, uh, what's it, uh, such as Divine Sacrifice and um, and the Yes, those cards. <laughs> Man. Um, but she basically, her if she uses her base power on a target, that turns, uh, I want to say it's it's not Divine Sacrifice. It, it's her deal herself X radiant damage to deal that much damage to a target. So now it becomes a free power to just hit something for five. Because it lasts until the end of the next turn. So especially if you can give her multiple power uses, that, that can add up really quick. All right, but that's enough of Fnatic. Now we're going to go after Extreme Prime Warden's Tempest. So what we know is it's base Tempest at Doc Therath. And that's about it. <laughs> no no required villain, apparently. Um, other circumstances involves lots of damage. So channel your inner Jeremy. And also having one and or both of his equipments into play. So we will go after a target rich villain um let's go for let's see hmm yeah the Ennead's pretty target rich because they generally have a bunch of guys in play at once uh and as long as isis doesn't show up i should be good and then to help tempest get his stuff into play we'll bring along skyscraper um wouldn't be a good old Ennead Brawl without uh, Ra. And just because we want to do all of the damage, let's bring a Legacy along. Alright. Prime Warden's Temp or Extreme Prime Warden's Tempest, take three. So, Tefnut, Neptis, Isis, and Osiris. Oh wait, it was Nuit. That was the damage reduction one. So, oh wow, um, none of them reacted, N there's no sun reactions, that's actually kind of funny. Alright, well, Osiris is priority number one, because discard is bad. So let's just start burning his face off. Um, oh, takedown's really good. keep them from being able to do anything for a round. All right, now, um, let's go... There's no links in play. There's no environment targets in play, so we'll just switch to huge. Punch Osiris. And then clap. Uh, well, we don't have any of... Alright, so let's just get some defense and start dealing damage. Oh, there's one of his equipments. Tempest can't take sonic damage? Um, well, I guess it's a good thing... Oh, wait... He just took sonic damage from a uh, skyscraper. Oh no! I might have failed! Eh, whatever. I'm pretty sure that's not actually a requirement. Alright, so... Let's... 
play Fortitude, because Legacy's probably going to take some heat. Uh, the good news is um, Osiris is down, so... Oh, let's put that on the Freedom Fighters. Make them work for us. Alright, so down goes Osiris. And then get the Subwave Inducer in play and continue dealing damage. Oh, well, so much for making the Freedom Fighters work for us. Oh well. Alright, so we have to destroy Hero, so we can get rid of Staff of Ra, because we have plenty of those. We can get rid of the Modulator because it's not doing anything. And let's get rid of Otherworldly Resilience because I think I need to keep the equipment in play. Uh, most cards in play can be Legacy because he has the most health out of all these guys. Um, Alright, get the Staff of Raw back out. And... Nep Nep is our next target because she likes to heal. Okay, so let's go bolster allies, get some more cards. All right. Well, yes, healing is good, but I want to try to also control the number of uh, any adder that are in play. And remember, every time a new one comes out, that's another 20 to 30 health that I have to punch through. Even with all the AoE, it adds up. Not to mention, uh, well, she heals based on Anx. Eh. That one, okay. Um, sure, let's put that on Tefnut. And then clap your hands. Alright, so let's set Tempest to Sonic, so that way he no longer takes damage from the uh, from the clap. And shielding wins. And then deal damage. Also, Nep Nep's still alive, so... As long as it doesn't flip one of its millions of AoE cards, like it just did, she would survive the round. Speaking of more Ennead showing up... Alright, so let's see here. So, we, knew, we now have a new priority number one target, and that is set. Um, yeah, I'm just going to burn his face off. Uh, let's get more fodder ongoings. I still have not gotten... I actually really want a, uh, what's it? Uh, micro assembler, so I can get Tempest's other equipment out, because he hasn't drawn it yet. Alright, well, let's just rest and recover and... Uh, get back Choke Slam, and then draw some cards. Oh, speaking of, there it is right there. <laughs> the game's just taunting me right now. Alright, let's set 
Tempest to melee this round. And then Chain Lightning. Wax set for five, Tefnut for four, and Isis for three. And then Squall the Line. That's a normal bombardment. Wait. Uh, oh, okay. He is. Uh, Legacy you can have the most cards in play, sure. And everybody's going to take damage. I need Tempest to not die, please. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's just conflag on set. Blazing Tornado on Tefnut. Alright, so Tefnut's down. Uh, we'll just set it up so that the game ends on the environment turn. So I'm actually just going to throw out more fodder. Give Tempest the Micro Assembler. Draw some cards. Alright, so... Put him on Toxic. And then Lightning Slash away Isis. And use the Micro Assembler to get rid of Grievous Hailstorm and put Gene Bound Shackles into play. Alright. We've dealt all the damage, even though Orbital Bombardment is going to win the game for us. Kaboom. Hey, what do you know? We dealt all the damage, and we got Extreme Prime Warden's Tempest. So that now puts us at every single variant available unlocked on my file. Um, I never did do the set pa Dark Watch setback unlock on stream. I'm not going to, because that, that unlock is terrible, and you should never do it. Um, because it... Re <laughs> <laughs> the official unlock condition has not been revealed. We just know that it's lots of damage at Dock the Wrath, and you may or may not require both of Tempest's equipments in play. I put both of them in play just to be just to be safe. But we got it, so yay! Um, so I've still got plenty of time for uh for doing some more games. So I'm going to do some practice for this weekend. Um, as you may know, we've got the speedrunning expo going on, and myself, Lenofis, and uh, Sacred Hooves will be doing a team villain game um, with your votes for who we're fighting, where we're fighting, and with what guest party member. But that's I'll explain more of that in the next video. Stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in just a few minutes.